everyone welcome to the channel knowledge star way to continuous lifelong learning my name is rishama sroor in this video we will talk about the critical review of published research so without much ado let's get started the ideas and content of a journal article are evaluated for their merits and shortcomings in a critical review it offers description analysis and interpretation so that readers can judge the significance of the article now our expert will explain to you in detail about this topic so to get complete information watch full video without skip the discussion so findings whatever has been obtained has to be discussed so in the interpretation of the findings the major findings whichever you have got is interpreted and discussed or not then is there any causal interference if it is anything like that is it justified or not is the clinical significance of the present topic is explained or not then is it consistent interpretation so that you will have to check then whether it addresses the generalizability whether the findings can be generalized or not so these are all the questions to be answered in the discussion part so you when you do a critical review ask these questions answer 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 like that you continue <laughs> so critiquing of a quantitative research article so whereas critiquing of a qualitative aspect of qualitative research there are some differences between this th these two things so now i will let you know the critic of quant I mean sorry sorry it is still continues so then implications and recommendations with that the present study always research study is a chain like one follows the other like that always present research study is a source of a new research study so from this study the recommendations are followed or not whether the recommendations are complete reasonable justifications are given or not that also you will have to check to it then comes the general issues since so far we have critiqued about the research aspect now it is a general issues about first is about the presentations whether the research is presented in a nice way no grammatical error it is very simple easy for people to understand so like this in general then the researcher's credibility uh, novice researcher or expert researcher academician so whatever it may be that also to be evaluated it doesn't mean that a novice researcher will do a low quality article experts will do a better article it is not like that but it is one criteria or weightage by experience the writing skills of people are um, fine tuned so for that only so even if a novice researcher can do a better article so in such case when you do a critic that must be highlighted a, a new one a wrote a very good article so that it helps us to appreciate the people's talent on it then the summary assessment so summary actually sum, summary is not just be copy and paste like that nothing is like that summary as at the end of the research study as a researcher you will have to put your own ideas with the help with the help of data and analysis report you will be putting your ideas justify and write a summary on it that has to be written in your own words so that must be very relevant to the topic and your findings so whether the summary assessment is very clear is it addressing the population all these things you will have to um, find in this so this is about the critiquing of a quantitative research study next about critic of a qualitative research study so similarly here also we will have to go by the um, steps in the research process first is the title see that whether it is good is whether it uh, it suggests the key phenomena of interest or what qualitative research it approaches or is you have to you have to see that whether this topic or title justifies the qualitative approach or not so whether this is suitable for a qualitative study or not that you will have to see to it then comes to the abstract whether it is clear concise summary similar to the quantitative study here also the same process applies abstract should be very clear people should be easily understand what it talks about then comes introduction first is research problem you see that whether the research problem is unambiguously written or not that is may very clear consistent statement should be there in the research problem then cogent argument for a new studies whether is there any provision for bringing a new study from this 
problem so that you will have to see to it and whether the qualitative approach adapted was appropriate or not so this is about introduction you will have to see to it then comes the research question in qualitative approach first research question explicitly stated or not whether the research question is clearly concisely stated or not then research question related to philosophical basis underlying tradition or ideological orientation so on what basis the research question is stated have to be identified then comes literature review whether adequate summary of existing literature is taken or not similar to quantitative approach only here but whether here literature support is very important in qualitative approach whether this gives a strong basis for new study or not that has to be justified here then comes conceptual underpinnings so first this this conceptual definition is very important in qualitative studies because with this only the study flows like that so whether the conceptual definitions are adequately done or not is the is it appropriate or relevant to the research question or research problem that chi then comes to the method as usual ethical clearance protection of human rights is there measures taken to protect the human rights in all the aspects of the research study in mostly in qualitative research studies if external review board is required or not if required obtained or not designed to minimize the risk and maximum benefit so whether the research study is intended to minimize the risk and maximize the benefit of the participants to be explained then comes the research design so is the design congruent with method of data collection we so is the because in qualitative approach the design and everything emerges as the study progresses was that explained in the article or not and was adequate time spent for the study because qualitative studies require more duration so was that much amount is spent for the study or not and unfolding the design during the data collection whether the design unfolded during the data collection process then amount of contact with study participants how how much time is spent with the participants how the researchers spend time with the participants have to be explained then sample and setting whether the population and samples are described or not then approach what approach was adapted to recruit the participants what criteria was followed to recruit the participants and what was the method of sampling used sample size usually in qualitative size is very small but still was that is adequate or not and the data saturation point is achieved or not so these are all the questions to be answered in qualitative approach in consideration with sample and settings then comes the data collection so what are appropriate methods are used for data collection was the triangulation done that means to collect a maximum <coughs> information where various methods of data collections are used or not so triangulation is done or not is it explained in the research study or not then how the data was recorded that has to be audio tape video tape or interview note so whatever it may be whether that is included in, uh, that is described in the research article or not and sufficient amount of data is gathered or not so answer to these questions then comes the procedure what is what is the procedure adapted was adequate description about the procedure adapted is given in the article or not and was there measures to minimize the bias is explained or not then enhancement of trustworthiness so strategies used to enhance trustworthiness is explained in the research study or not the documentation of research procedure is clearly explained or not evidence of researchers reflexivity so re researchers thoughts ideas is reflecting in the article or not and well, is there a thick description of the entire research process because qualitative studies simply mostly rely on the way it is described so whether that thick description is given or not then comes the results data analysis how the data management was described so the voluminous data was how organized managed and described and is it compatible with the research tradition the outcome of analysis is explained or not was there any bias in analysis because it talks about more personal way of analyzing coding decoding is there any way by which bias happened or measures taken to minimize or avoid the bias is explained in the research study or not then comes the 
findings so fi effective summaries so the summary very clearly states about the research process its findings and everything or not and the conceptualization of themes and patterns so whatever thematic or patterns identified during the data collection and analysis was it explained or conceptualized clearly or not and meaningful picture for phenomena under study whether it gives the meaningful picture for the study has to be answered then theoretical integration check whether the themes patterns which are identified are logically connected gives a overall picture or not the figures maps models whichever have identified are summarized or conceptualized or not and in par with conceptual framework so whatever is coming is it matching with the conceptual framework identified or not so answer to these questions then about discussion interpretation of the findings so the findings whichever you have got whether it is interpreted with social and cultural context of the society or not whether it matches with any negative things found means is it justified with suitable examples and the findings and interpretations are discussed with suitable evidence and consistent with study limitations so study study has limitation whether the uh, analysis description conclusion i mean other dis discussions going on within the limitations or not and whether the study gives its implications and recommendations what future research can be done based on this what is the clinical application of this was it explained or not so answer to this this is about the exact aspect of qualitative then comes here also the general issues how the study is presented researcher's credibility summary assessment so with when you get answers to all these questions so then you will have to put it up in a way by which the critical i um, mean a critical review is given or not <coughs> so next is how to write a review <coughs> writing a re review is first you will have to prepare an outline of what to be written as indira madam said map mental mapping or making an outline is very important for writing any article it may be a research article concept paper scientific paper or a re review report first you will have to make an outline so because the description itself gives an outline only there are questions 1 2 3 aspect wise so you write the answers of all whatever you have obtained prepare an outline of this then make a draft of it in the draft draft should contain first citation of the article the of which article you are doing a review that article to be cited first and the first paragraph is an introduction aspect so you will have to introduce all these things then the body contents it it includes both positive and negative aspects of the research study make it very clear understand very clearly critical review is not just showing the negatives of the research study because it is every one of us know how difficult to conduct a research and publish a research paper is definitely the authors might have put so much effort to do that so appreciate all good efforts all positive things each and every study gives something to the profession some knowledge to the profession so that appreciate that then negatives are not negatives that that may be ways to improve so this negatives intensity may vary from minor to major if it is minor moderate definitely as a reviewer we must give our suggestions to improve the quality of the article of publish if it is very major that is an another aspect rejecting is something different as a reviewer we must be positive in making understand people to fine tune or refine the research work come out with a better better output so this is how a researcher should this is how a reviewer should help the researchers to come out because you know this this may become a demotivating factor for people so people may stop working on research if too much criticisms are given so as reviewer we must be uh, giving our suggestions in such a way that there is no compromise taking place in the quality of the article but at the same time the researcher is made understand where where they went wrong so this is how the negative things to be explained in a review report this that all comes in the body then conclusion so in conclusion part appreciate things then you 
this will be decided whether to accept or accept with modification or reject so this is how a review process goes so when writing a review report a reviewer must understand that it must be very clear consistent and we must be very truthful and we must justify our work there should be no compromise in the quality but whatever the good done where it must be very clearly appreciated and ways of areas of improvement has to be described with justification or with suitable evidence so that we will have more quality research articles in the nursing profession if you want to see these type of videos please do comment we will definitely look after that thank you for more updates subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected